How to compare Rocky and Alma Linux using Windows 11 and WSL. Here are the steps we'll cover. Steps 4, 5 and 6 will repeat for each distro. The first thing we need to do is enable the WSL feature. You'll need to enable Windows Subsystem for Linux as well as the Virtual Machine Platform. Now that we have WSL enabled let's verify it's working by running WSL status. You'll notice we are running version 2 and that the default distro is Ubuntu. Let's run WSL update to verify we're on the latest build of WSL. Now we have WSL installed and verified we're on the latest build. The next step is to download and install Docker Desktop. We now have Docker Desktop installed. It's not required, but I'm going to reboot to verify the install is complete. Okay, we have WSL and Docker installed. Now I'm going to install Windows Terminal. This step isn't required, but I like the interface and it does so much more than a normal command prompt. The real power of Windows Terminal is the ability to run multiple tabs or as they are referred by Windows Terminal, profiles. By running WSL list online we can see what distros are available. You'll notice Rocky and Alma Linux are not listed. It's time to create the container for Rocky Linux, but first we need to verify that Docker desktop is running in the background. You can do this by double-clicking the desktop icon. Once it shows running you can just minimize it. Now let's pull down the Docker image for Rocky Linux by typing in Docker image pull Rocky Linux slash Rocky Linux latest.
Next we'll create the container for Rocky Linux with command docker create a Rocky Linux slash Rocky Linux bash. Next we'll export the container using the command docker export and then type in the first four characters from above. In this case it's 4718 then type greater than sign rocky linux tar. Next we'll create a directory for the image. Let's import that image into WSL using command WSL import Rocky Linux period backslash Rocky image backslash Rocky Linux dot tar. Let's start up Rocky Linux in WSL with command WSL D Rocky Linux. There you go. We now have Rocky Linux running in WSL. Now let's see what release we're running. We are on release 8.6 Green Obsidian. Let's make Rocky Linux the default distro by entering slconfig slash s Rocky Linux. Now let's verify the change by typing slconfig slash l. We've now installed the latest release of Rocky Linux on WSL and made it the default distro. You'll now see Rocky Linux listed as an option in the tab pulldown in terminal. Now that we have Rocky Linux running in WSL let's get Alma Linux set up. We'll repeat the same commands we did while creating the Rocky Linux container and importing the image. Start by running docker image pull Alma Linux slash Alma Linux latest. Next we'll run docker create i alma linux slash alma linux bash. Now let's run docker export with first four characters from above results and then send it to a file called alma linux.tar. Let's create a folder to store our image. Now we're going to import the container into WSL by typing WSL import Alma Linux. Backslash Alma Linux backslash Alma Linux dot tar. We should have a working version of Alma Linux in WSL. Let's test it by running WSL the Alma Linux. There you go. We're now running Alma Linux. Let's see what release we're on. Okay. Looks like 8.4 Electric Cheetah is the latest release of Alma Linux as of this recording. 
By running WSL config slash L we can see that Rocky Linux is our default and Alma Linux is listed as an available distro. Now you can see we have both Rocky Linux and Alma Linux as distro options. From here we can switch between the two.